Well, there are three things I would change. Um, I worked hard on it. Uh, the Ways and Means Committee, we had first swipes at it and uh, was able to write part of it, help write part of it, particularly on manpower, uh, workforce, uh, that is for primary care doctors and for nurses. I'm very proud of what we did there. And on acute care for our seniors who've been pushed from pillar to post. Those are two major issues that I dealt with along with the other issues, of course. But I would do something about liability. Uh, I'm very concerned that we didn't go far enough. We got some pilot programs in the health care bill. But the liability issue is not going to go away. I certainly would have that uh, essentially connected with the ability to lower premiums. There is only one section of the Texas law, uh, for instance, and people refer to that, that has led to any kind of balancing of premiums with the uh, increase in cost of health care. I don't see any essential significant relationship between uh, liability reform or tort reform, as it's many times referred to, and lowering of premiums. And that, to me, would be a condition. But at least, let's at least have more pilot programs. Let's try to develop, which I talked about when I was in the state legislature in New Jersey, uh, arbitrary hearings so you keep things out of court. And this is how you get rid of fickle kind of, of suits against doctors or against hospitals. You know, you can sue your doctor, you can sue your hospital, you can't sue your insurance company. They're protected. They're above it all. Well, we try to level that off in the health care bill. But that's one of, one of the things I would... The second, the, the, major, the major issue before me, if you ask me, from the, from the very beginning, is how do we lower costs? How do we do more of results-oriented and comparative uh, studies so that we're concerned about how the patient turns out rather than simply giving to the doctor the major, responsi major responsibility. He is the professional. But this doctor being in a, on this procedure, that doctor being on that procedure, being go to the doctor for a checkup and all, all of a sudden you go to the hospital rather and you wind up having six or seven doctors, are they all necessary? Maybe at times they are. Maybe at times they're not. So I'm more results-oriented rather than fee-for-service. I think that that's got to change. We should have done more about it in the health care bill. So those are two major areas I would be very, very, very concerned about and would want to change. The third one, uh, what I think, and I tried to do everything I could, but it obviously was not successful as much as I wanted to be, that is, and that is to bring insurance companies really under the antitrust laws. Uh, this is the only way you bring religion to the process. This is the only way you're going to lower uh, premiums. This is the only way you're going to get us to cooperate with one another because we all got to be at the table. People should be able to make profits. There's no question about that. That's, that's not the issue. But person's health is more critical, obviously, to the well-being and the common good of the society. I think that's very, very, very important, very, very uh, significant. The antitrust laws, I think, should really cover insurance companies. And, and I think you, you would find a whole different culture of health care in this society. We don't need socialized medicine. We don't believe in socialized medicine. And this legislation, which has been called everything from this to that, is not socialized medicine. We even took out the public option. Uh, so there's no semblance here of a uh, government-run legislation. And, and, and to my, my friends on the other side, just remember that Medicare is a government operation. Keep that in mind. I hope you don't want to do away with that.